All right, for this problem, we have a V-belt pulley uh, as shown below. It's using, being used to transmit a torque. Uh, so the diameter of the pulley is going to be 5 inches, and the resting tension in the belt uh, we measure at 20 pounds. We know the coefficient of friction between the belt material and the pulley is 0.4. We want to find the maximum torque this pulley can exert before the belt starts to slip. Uh, so there's a few different things we need to do to start this problem. Um, step number one, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I know the contact angle between the belt and the pulley is 210 degrees. I'm going to need that in radians, so I'm going to convert that early on. So beta is 210 degrees, which is uh, about 3.665 radians. And for my belt friction problems, the first step is always going to be to uh, kind of introduce the the belt friction um, difference in tension formula. So T2 max is going to be equal to T1 times E to mu static enhanced. Uh, so since we have a V belt, it's going to be the enhanced static coefficient of friction uh, times the contact angle beta. All right, so let's figure out this mu static enhanced before we go too much further. Um, mu static enhanced is going to be equal to the just static coefficient of friction, mu static, over the sine of this angle alpha. And so the angle alpha is the um, angle that the walls make, and so in this case it's a 60 degree angle, uh, so it's going to be sine of 60 degrees over 2. So I'm going to, if I plug in numbers, mu static is 0.4, it's going to be the sine of 60 over 2 is 30 degrees. I get an enhanced static coefficient of friction of 0.8. Uh, so essentially, with this particular belt, since I'm using a V-belt, I get twice the coefficient of friction uh, that I would get if I was just using a flat belt. All right, so now I need to start plugging other number numbers in. Um, so T2 max is the tension on one end just before it starts to slip. T1 is going to be the uh, other tension in the belt. Um, and that is going to be the smaller of the two tensions, which is always going to be equal to the resting tension uh, if I measure the tension before I start to kind of wind this thing up. Um, so T2 max, I don't know that. T1, I do know that. It's going to be 20 pounds. E, uh, I've got mu static enhanced. That is 0.8. And my beta, my contact angle, is this 3.665 radians. All right, if I solve for T2 max, I'm going to end up with 375.3 pounds. And so that means that, you know, up here, on one side, I would have 20 pounds. On the other side, I would have 375.3 pounds. And these would be the two tension forces that I'd see just before this thing starts to slip. And so the moment at this point, I'm going to call M max, is going to be T2 max minus T1 times the radius of my belt, or sorry, of my pulley. All right, so M max is going to be 375.3 minus 20 multiplied by 2.5 inches. And both of these are, these are pounds. All right, so if I solve for M max down here, I'm going to get 888.3 inch-pounds. That's the maximum moment before it starts to slip. 
or if I want to use the more common unit of foot-pounds uh, for the English system, I simply divide this whole thing by 12 and I end up with 74.0 foot-pounds of torque. All right, and so with that, I've solved for the maximum moment before slipping. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.